Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part three of my Isotope Ozone 7 series. In this video, I want to show you the matching EQ mode in Ozone's equalizer module. The matching EQ works by taking a spectrum snapshot of an audio clip and applying it to another. So this is great for tone matching instruments or for matching the spectrum of one entire mix to another. In this video, we're going to use the guitar tone from a guitar sample and try to mimic that tone and apply it to the guitar in this session. In a much later video, I'll show you how to use this to match the tone of one entire mix to another, but since we're not even close to being done with this one, we'll have to wait on that. If you'd like to work along with me, or even if you just want some extra multi-track material to practice your mixing and mastering, this multi-track logic session is available with stems for purchase and download. I'll leave a link in the video description below. The guitar sample used in this video is also included in that download. Okay, so like I said before, we're going to try to mimic the guitar tone of another recording and apply that to this recording. So I'm going to solo the electric guitar bus, which has an input of bus 3. Then I'll go over to the left and right rhythm guitars that are feeding over to that bus. Since the aux track is soloed, we'll only hear these if we play them. Let's bypass the EQ and compression and give them a listen. So to my ear, they're a bit hollow sounding and a bit too crunchy bright in a bad way, and they sound like they're being played through a tiny little speaker. What I'm going to do is create a new stereo audio track, so that's Option Command N in Logic, and on that audio track I'm going to import this WAV file of a guitar sample I recorded from a completely different song. I'll assign this one to bus 3 with the other guitars. Let me mute the other two rhythm guitars and let's give this a listen. This one, for whatever reason, turned out a lot thicker sounding. The amp settings were pretty similar but with lower gain, but we used different mics and I think we didn't filter out so much with the EQ. In the setting fire guitars, they're too bright, it sounds like they've been filtered out too much, and they're kind of scratchy but not in a good way. So on the electric guitar bus, I'm going to add ozone as an insert. And I'll go down to the matching EQ controls and turn that on. The reference audio is the audio source we're actually trying to mimic, and the target audio is the audio source that we're actually going to apply it to. There's also a pink noise and 6 dB reference option, but we'll talk about that much later once we're almost done with this song. Alright, so since the guitars are muted, we'll just hear the reference guitar sample through the bus. So I'll just go back to reference, press capture, and then play a good chunk of the guitar sample to capture its frequency spectrum. Now I'll unmute the guitar tracks and mute the sample guitar, and then I'll capture a good chunk of the target audio. Now what I can do is adjust the amount and smoothing of the matched curve to dial in a tone that sounds closer to the reference track.
So that sounds a lot better. You can really hear it when I bypass the EQ. The matching EQ is a linear phase EQ with the ability to use over 8,000 bands of frequencies for extremely precise matching. So if you're wondering, you can still adjust the analog or digital tone and shapes of the original EQ on top of the matching EQ. So what I'll do is use a low pass filter to filter out some of this high frequency boost here, and I'll also low pass the sub low frequencies a bit. I'll also add a band around 6K to boost up this low point here. Let's give this a listen with the entire mix in. I'm going to mute the vocals though because they're probably going to sound drowned out a bit. We'll get to those later. All right, so that's how to use the matching EQ in Isotope Ozone's Equalizer module. Remember, you can purchase and download this session if you'd like to work along with me, or even if you'd just like more multi-track material to practice mixing and mastering with. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.